This video is sponsored by Blueland. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today because we are doing a bit of a studio refresh. I feel like the studio is in constant need of a refresh, but today we're actually just dedicating time to getting some paint on the walls, organizing, all of that stuff behind me, <laughs> getting some plants in here. We've also been out of the studio since the end of December because in Ontario we were in lockdown and we were all working from home. So the space is in need of like a good clean, um, a good dusting. I'm gonna get everyone's desks in order and just like make this an inviting place for everyone to come back to work to. So a few days ago, we started this refresh by having our windows redone. So this was actually something that our building did. They had to take out all the old style lofty windows. If you guys remember when we first moved in, the windows were old and beautiful and had so much character, but they were drafty. They would have made this space feel so cold during the winter. So they had to replace them and I was really sad about it, but uh, the building's landlord had a really great idea to kind of bring them back to that like lofty feel with something called mullions or millions. Mullions, people say it both ways. It's like caulking and caulking. <laughs> oh my God, the wordle of the day, guys, was caulk. You're supposed to say the wordle of the day. I haven't done it yet. Sorry, I didn't know you did wordle. Why do you think I do wordle? Well, it wasn't anything against you, I just, I didn't know you did Wordle. We never talk about it. I just silently do Wordle, I guess. And you just told me the word. But I got it in three with only one letter. And then I said to no, am I, am I a child prodigy? A child prodigy at 30. <laughs> Anyways, um, really got off topic there. We had a painter come in to paint them black. They look so good and like we're in a loft. I just love them so much. Wow. So we took all the curtains down and I think we're gonna leave the curtains down because the windows just kind of speak for themselves, you know? So now that that part of the refresh is done, I'm gonna show you what else we are tackling today. Um, we have a lot of boxes, packages, stuff for makeovers that we haven't used that just needs to be sorted out. Also this wall, I was painting it for um, a project I'm working on and I only had to paint like a few, streaks on the wall, so it now looks like this. So I am going to paint this entire wall pink. I just feel like when you walk in, you know, you just like need a hit of that AG pink. Am I right? We have the pink on the kitchen wall here. We're using the same color, so I think it's gonna tie in really nicely. Also, all of these shelves, I just wanna style them and make them look really pretty. They're just basically storage right now, which is fine, but I don't know. I want I really want them to be kind of like their own their own moment over here. We're not tackling this today, but Graham and I are going to figure out what we can do to this wall to give us even more storage. So, we're going to kind of try and problem solve that today. And then I'm going to give this space a really good clean and I'm going to be using my Blue Land products, which you guys have actually been asking me about since January when I did my whole home declutter with me. I mentioned them because I've been using these products for months. I love them and I just like, I can't wait to tell you all about them. Blue Land offers solutions to everyday cleaning products by offering consumers eco-friendly yet affordable cleaning kits. No single-use plastics are used in any of Blue Land's products or packaging, and they're also vegan and cruelty-free. Their products are made with clean ingredients and free from ammonia, VOC, soy nuts, chlorine bleach, and parabens. They're also EPA certified, meaning scientists have evaluated every ingredient and deemed them safe to use. Okay, so here's how it works. All you do is pop in one of these little tablets to your forever bottle, you fill it with water, and you're all set to clean. What I love about Blue Land and why I actually switched in the first place is because it's really good for the environment and it also saves me money. Another thing that drew me to Blue Land is that their products are pet safe. They are made without VOCs, so if Lottie's like walking all over the counters, I know that our cleaning products that we use are safe. One of the reasons Noah and I made the switch uh, months ago was because we were buying cleaning supplies in those big plastic bottles. Um, not only is that really expensive, but we were throwing out single-use plastic constantly. We're definitely not perfect, but this was one of the easiest ways we figured we could reduce our use of single-use plastic. So it was usually costing us five to six dollars per cleaning bottle, 
versus these little tablets which you can buy for one to two. So for Noah and I's home, we purchased the clean kit, which comes with hand soap, a glass and mirror cleaner, bathroom cleaner, and a multi-surface cleaner. I'm so glad we also have this kit now for the office. I can use it, feel good about it. Click my link below to get 20% off your first cleaning kit. Let's get cleaning, organizing, decorating, all the things. Okay, so we just moved all the stuff out into the hall. We are going to deal with that this afternoon. I think bring it to our storage locker because there's just so much stuff. But yeah, now we're gonna get started on painting this wall. For the actual wall color, I'm using the same peachy pink color that we used on the kitchen wall. I feel like you're not really gonna be able to see it in the camera properly. It just looks white, but it's one of my favorite pink colors and I will link it down below. So while we wait for the white paint to dry, Graham and I are going to install a piece of MDF board. You got MDF, right? Uh, it's fine. It's pine, not MDF. So when we installed these PAX wardrobes, it was kind of like a last minute rushed thing because we just needed more storage. And so in James's little nook here, you can see the back of them. So we're just going to nail this piece of board on top of that so it looks like one seamless wall. Also, <laughs> we knocked the light like right off the wall, Graham, like the James's desk light. So we need to put that back up. What is a muse? I mean, I was Josh Safdie's muse when he wrote Uncut Jazz. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, wow, it fits perfectly. Who knew? Crimson. I cut it in the dark last night, so I don't think I had this very. Oh, thank you. You weren't expecting to become No. Woo. Yeah, solid. Oh, you want to wrap? Yay. Looks so much better up there. Wow. Okay, so see how we have these pack wardrobes here? Mm -hmm. I think we need more storage on this wall. And I was wondering, would it work if we put more pack wardrobes here? I think it would stick out too far. Okay, so then the other option is that we're building this locker today that could go down here and then hang shelves over it. Mm -hmm. I think shelves would be better than cabinets. Okay. It's, like, it's still open up the space. Yeah, because if we just put a piece of like, if we just put a yeah. piece of wood trim. here. Or, yeah, or trim, yeah. Okay, so next we are going to build the locker that's going here. Graham's gonna go out on lunch and get a piece of trim for this wall. And we're gonna do the shelves in another video, but for now, Hopefully the locker will fit here. The locker is from this awesome company called Mustard Made, and they make these really cool, colorful lockers. They have so many different colors, and they sent me the low down locker in blush. So thank you, Mustard Made. I'll link them down below. Um, they have tall ones too, and I think they're just great for storage, like cute decorative storage. Oh, Amanda has all the colors up. I'm obsessed with the lavender. We obviously went with a blush pink. Thanks. I'm gonna start painting this wall pink and I'm really excited about it and wondering why I didn't do this before. Also, it's gonna look so good with the black windows. We are gonna let the first coat of paint dry um, and in the meantime, I'm gonna hang this above the TV. It was up there before, but it was looking kind of small and it got lost in the wall. And we need this to remind us how far we've come. Subscribe. Subscribe, people. So we get another plaque for a million subscribers. Okay, so I'm trying to rejig these closets to put more props in. This is where we keep all of our paint. And then in the closet next to this one is our kit that we bring to every makeover. But I'm gonna try and like rejig things so we can fit more in here. So many lights. This is our little 
photo prop area. So we had all of these little risers made so we can put products on them to shoot. So they're all going in here. There's some arches. Okay, you guys, this is so exciting because um, finally this project that I've been working on with Cardea is live. We made a candle together. <laughs> They name all their candles after important people. I decided I was gonna name mine after an important pet, Lottie. And um, this candle just smells so good. It's bergamot, pink grapefruit, and vanilla. I wanted something that was cozy and comforting, but still kind of like fresh and floral. It smells like Lottie, honestly. Cuddles with Lottie. So these are samples. I'm gonna put them all in this crate. Actually, instead of putting them away in a crate, I'm actually gonna put them on top of the pink locker. I'm gonna line them all up. That would be cute. Also, if you missed me making over Cardia's office, I will link that video up here. It's such a fun day. It was almost a year ago, actually. Cute. Okay, so as you guys saw, Graham attached this piece of trim where that gap was. So I'm just gonna tape it off paint it white so it blends in with the Pax wardrobe. Um, and then I can move on to shelf styling, which is gonna take forever, but it's gonna be rewarding. LOL, we have no painter's tape left. So I'm gonna freehand it. Now is the part of the video where I style all of these shelves. It's gonna be an undertaking, but I'm here for the challenge. I'm gonna put on some music. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take everything down, put it all in the living room area here, and then get it back up on the shelves. So I'm gonna give you a quick before. So they're just like super messy. We've honestly just kind of shoved stuff up there. We have all this like nice stuff that I just feel like needs to go on display. I'm also gonna clean with my Blue Land multi-surface cleaner because these shelves are dusty. I'm working on this really fun project that I keep teasing but can't share with you just yet. But on the weekend, um, Graham spray painted all of these tools uh, in fun pastel colors. So I'm gonna put them on display on these shelves. Like how fun. I'm kind of grouping things by color instead of like item. Cause I think before we were kind of grouping kitchen stuff together, artwork, that kind of thing. But I think I'm just gonna have fun with it and just group things by color. I think it's gonna look really good when you walk in the space and it's gonna feel more intentional than um, how it was before. You guys, that was an intense day, but this office feels like ready for spring. I don't know, it just feels so much better in here, honestly. Adding in that locker to store some stuff, rearranging the Pax wardrobe to get everything tucked away behind those doors, rejigging the shelves, like it just feels like a new, a new space. And sometimes that's all it takes to feel more motivated and productive in your space, right? Let's head into the afters. You can see what the space looks like now.
Thank you so much to Blue Land for sponsoring this video. If you would like to use my 20% discount code, make sure you check out all the details in the description box below. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye.